holy and blessed Jesus Christ, the perfect radiance of the eternal heavenly Father who enlightens us with joy. As dusk grows in upon us and the evening lights appear, we sing our praise-filled hymns to God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Son of God, you deserve that every age joyfully sing your praise, for you give life and so all the world gives to you its glory. As the day comes to an end, we say together, I acknowledge my sin to you. I do not cover over my iniquity. I confess my transgressions to you and you forgive the guilt of my sin. Confident that those who seek the Lord God are thus assured of his peace. We say tonight I lay my soul, my body and all that I am into the enfolding embrace of the Father who loves me into the enfolding embrace of Jesus who gave his life as a ransom for me, into the enfolding embrace of the Spirit who lives within me. Tonight I lay my soul, my body and all that I am into the enfolding embrace of the threefold God and there I find my rest. Lord, we acknowledge that your word is a lamp for our feet and a light on our paths. And so we read Mark chapter 11, verses 7 to 10. On the day of Jesus' triumphal entry, we're told, when they brought the cult to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread, spread branches they'd cut in, out in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Lord Jesus, we know that acclamation quickly turned to reprobation. Yet you were and are our king. And we worship you. As the fountain in the garden, as the candle in the dark, as the treasure in the coffer, as the manna in the ark, so, Lord, are you to me. Thus may the sacred three, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, save, shield and surround me, my home, my loved ones, my friends and my world and give to all his peace. Amen.